Tango 21 calling Mr Chippy. Yeah, stop, so we've got a Quasar MCB 400 today, which is kind of a Unidem based thing with the Marine Receive for channel 16, 37 and 67 switched there. So it's CB high power 4 watts, CB low power 0 0.4 watts and then Marine mode. On a volume squelch and might gain. So it's um, CB 2781, quite an unusual set with it having that marine capability. Mark Zellix, to my friend, went to a radio rally at Grantham today and bought it for £3.50. Not with the mic, we've borrowed this off our demonstrator. Uh, not with the power lead, uh, we just used one of the stock ones. And uh, it was no display, so a couple of uh, two or three duff capacitors which we're aware of on these sets which are now 30 odd years old I presume that's his bracket as well which he's come with um, so they are, it's a Quasar so we're going to do our usual range test and uh, Mr Chippy it will be going six and a half, seven miles up the road uh, we're in the middle of nowhere as you know and he'll be going the wrong side of the hill so that it makes it difficult so Tango 21 uh, all uh, ready for you to go I presume you can read me all right on my microphone on Mark's set. Yeah, Roger, that sounds great. And it does the other way, that's fantastic. So on the back you've got the normal aerial connector and you've also got a phono type of RCA connector for a VHF aerial for the marine capability. And we have tested that with the signal generator and it's working fine. Roger, got you at Ancaster service station. So he's now a mile away. And his next call, I think, will be either the crossroads at Ancaster or at the top of the hill where the quarry is. Tango 21, Mr Chippy, how are you doing? Quarry up the hill. Oh, we're double day. You're at the quarry at the top of the hill. Roger, Roger. So it's now a couple of miles away, and as he says, at the top of the hill, he'll drop down into the village of Willsford. He's then the wrong side of the hill, and that's where things become interesting. Roger, I've got you at Scratchy Corner. And as you heard, it was indeed scratchy when he's right at the bottom of that hill, the wrong side. So he's now about two and a half miles away, the wrong side of a hill. So as he comes out through the village of Wilsford and gets to the level crossing, there's a bit of a cutting through um, rock. So it's not ideal. He's still the wrong side of a hill. But it does make it a bit easier. Tango 21, got you, Willsford level crossing. So that's now about three, three and a half miles away. Just pop that squelch down. There was one other marine intended set for CB use. And I think it was the KT5005 probably, 6006, something like that, uh, from... Kerno, presumably. We've got one somewhere in bits. In fact, I can see it's on the shelf. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. Let's have a look at this shelf. KT5005, Kerno. So that's the Gson KT5005. It's got two marine receive channels. Whereas the Quasar, which we're testing, has got three. Tango 
Mango 21 got you at Grayleys. So there'll be one final call in. He now will be six and a half miles away when he goes over the Rawsby level crossing. And then he's going off home to where he lives at Bradford. He might give me another call from home. Roger got your Rawsby level crossing. If you'd be kind enough to give me a call from the roundabout, and then uh, I'll catch you on uh, the internet later on tonight. Okay, thanks very much. I'll give you the 1010, catch you later on. Tango 21 out. There you have it, Quasar MCB 400. Did our full seven mile test, the wrong side of a hill. So uh, we obviously have fixed that, and I'm sure Mark will be very pleased with his £3.50 purchase. Well, thanks for watching, and catch you on the next uh, demonstration we do.